When you learn blockchain development, the most annoying thing is to set up your development environment. That's why you should use a code editor called Remix. With Remix, you can code Solidity smart contracts without installing anything on your computer. You just load a URL in your browser and you're ready. As a blockchain beginner, you need to master Remix and that's what I'm going to show you in this video. If you don't know me, I'm Julian and on Ido Blocks, I teach blockchain development. Before we jump into the interface of Remix, let's spend a few minutes to understand what are the benefits of using Remix. When you write code, you need to have instant feedback to understand if you have made a mistake or not. One way we get this feedback is with a syntax highlighting. For mainstream programming languages like JavaScript, we have syntax highlighting straight out of the box with most code editors. For Solidity, it's possible to have syntax highlighting, but we need to set it up. For example, if your code editor is VS Code, there is an extension for Solidity Syntax Highlighting. With Remix, you don't have to manage any extension for Solidity Syntax Highlighting. It's already included in Remix by default. And when you change the version of Solidity, the Syntax Highlighting automatically adapts to the correct version of Solidity, whereas in VS Code, I noticed that's not always the case. So that's one very important feature of Remix. Another thing you need in order to write Solidity code is a Solidity compiler. A Solidity compiler will transform your Solidity code into another code that we call EVM bytecode. The Ethereum blockchain does not understand Solidity. It only understands this EVM bytecode. You can download a Solidity compiler yourself, but it's not a simple software, mainly because it has a lot of options and that's just too many details to manage. Also, every time there is a new version of Solidity, you need to install a new Solidity compiler. That's super annoying. With Remix, you don't have to manage Solidity compilers at all. Remix does it for you. And you can switch easily from one version of Solidity to another. Big win. When you code Solidity smart contracts, you also need to have a way to deploy your smart contracts to the blockchain. You could write some code to do this, but that would be really boring. That's what we call boilerplate code. We don't want to spend too much time on this. Once again, with Remix, you don't have to do this yourself. You can just click on a button and it does the deployment for you. That's super simple. When you deploy your smart contracts, you don't want to directly deploy your contracts to mainnet, the real network of Ethereum. Instead, you want to deploy to other networks where you don't spend real money to do transactions and when there is no real life consequences if you make mistakes. For this, you have what we call public testnets and local development blockchains. With a local development blockchain, you run a blockchain that is local to your computer only. It's completely independent from a mainnet, the real network of Ethereum. With Remix, there is a built-in development blockchain and you can deploy your smart contracts to this local blockchain just by clicking on a button. To sum up the benefits you get with Remix, not only it manages a lot of development tools for you, but it also integrates these development tools seamlessly and expose their functionalities with a nice visual interface. That's super powerful. Last thing I mentioned about Remix before we move on to the next section is that Although Remix was originally designed for Ethereum, it can be used for developing smart contracts on any EVM compatible blockchain like Binance Smart Chain or Polygon. In order to use Remix, all you have to do is to load the URL in your browser and that's it, you are ready. If you have used Visual Studio Code before, you will notice that the UI is very similar. You have four parts on the left you have the menu bar just after you have a bigger column where you will find the file explorer or the tool that is currently selected after you have the main part so that's where you open your smart contract file and where you see your code and at the bottom you have a console that gives you some feedback on what's happening especially when you are deploying a smart contract you can also zoom in and zoom out can resize the panel and you also have a couple of other menu so here you have the 3d compiler menu that's how you choose the 3d version then you have the deployment menu that's how you deploy your smart contract and then you have the plugin manager that's how you can activate or deactivate plugin 
So by default, we just have two plugin activated, but there are a lot of others. We'll discuss this later. At the bottom left corner, you have the setting menu. And at any time, if you need some help, when you see this icon, that's a link to the help of Remix. And also you have access to a Gitter chat. So here you go to Gitter and you can ask questions to the community. The first thing to do is to go to the 3T compiler menu. And when you create a new spot contract, you make sure to use the latest version of 3T. So currently is 0.8.6. And you also make sure to select auto compile. So this is very important because every time you make a change in your spot contract with auto compile, it's going to try to recompile it. And if there is any error of compilation, it's going to show you this in the code editor. Otherwise, it's very tedious because you have to come back to this menu after each change and manually compile smart contract in order to find if there are any error. Then you go to the file explorer menu. So you can work with different workspace. Personally, I just use the default workspace, but if you want, you can create other here. Then here you have the possibility to create a new file. You can also create uh, a new folder if you need. So we just create a new file and we call it uh, my my contract dot so okay and it's also possible to publish all your files to a github guest so for this you need to configure your github api key in the settings below then we'll open my contract dot so and we'll start to code our smart contract so this is not a lesson on 3t so i'm gonna go very quick on the 3t code but basically here the first step is to have your solidity statement, pragma statement. So since we have selected 3T 0.8.6, we use the same version here. Then you declare a smart contract. Then the name of the smart contract, so by convention, this is the same name as the file. Then you open the curly braces. Then we can do uh, something very simple. Uh, for example, uh, uint public data and just a simple function to, to change our integer variable uh, data equal what we have as an argument. Okay, and so here we don't see any error from the compiler, but if we make an error, if we make a mistake, we'll see right away solidity that tell us there is something wrong. So if you go here, it tells you what's the problem. So we are expecting a semicolon. So red, this means this is an error, you have to fix it, but uh, sometimes you have warning. So let's try to get a warning. Uh, and here view, we are going to return an integer. Uh, and we are going to return, for example, one. Oh yeah, and we forgot uh, external. So here we're going to have a warning to tell us that the state mut mutability can be restricted to pure. So warning, you can still compile your smart contract, but in general, it is better to follow the advice of the warning. So in this case, we have to replace view by pure. All right, but that was just to show you the warning feature. Uh, let's get rid of this. So once you have written your smart contract and you fix all the error and all the warnings, it's time to deploy your smart contract. So for that, you go to the deploy tab here and you need to do some configuration. So first, the environment. So here, the two JavaScript VM, these are the local development blockchains that I mentioned before. And so here we're just before a hard fork of Ethereum. So we can choose the current version of Ethereum, which is Berlin, or the next version after the hard fork, which is London then injected providers so this is if you want to deploy to mainnet or a public testnet and this will connect to metamask so that means you need to first in metamask select the correct network it's going to reload remix and then you are ready to send a transaction and then you have web3 provider so this is if you want to connect 
to a node that is running locally, for example, an instance of geth, or if you are using Ganache. So here you configure the endpoint, but we're not going to do this. Uh, we're going to come back to JavaScript VM Berlin. Okay. Then you select which account you want to select for the deployment. So here, since you are using a local development blockchain by default, we have 10 accounts that are created with 100 ether for each. So of course, this is a fake ether. This is not valid on mainnet. So we're just going to select the first one. If you need to copy the address, you can copy the address here. Then you can adjust the gas limit. So gas, it's a whole discussion on its own. I actually have a series on gas uh, on my channel. So if the default doesn't work, you can increase the gas limit for your transaction. But in general, it works. If you want to send some Ether or in the case of Binance Smart Chain, some BNB, then that's how you would do it. And here you specify in which unit. So in way, which is the smallest unit or in Ether, which is the biggest unit. And again, if you are using Binance Smart Chain, even though you see Ether here, actually it would mean BNB in this case. So here we're gonna, not going to send any Ether. Then you select the contract that you want to deploy. Then you click on deploy. And so here uh, in the console, you can see that something is happening and we see a green check mark. So it means the transaction was successful. And if you scroll down, you will see this thing that appears. So that's the instance of our smart contract. And here you will see two buttons. So a blue button that's for read only function and set data. That's for function that allow you to modify the data on the blockchain. So here, if we click on data, we should see zero because that's the default value. Yes. And if we try to modify this to 10, then we click on set data. We can see here that the transaction was successful and we click on data again. And here we see 10 this time. And as I said before, if you choose another environment, for example, injected Web3, you can deploy and connect to mainnet or public testnet. And so in this case, every time you send a transaction, if you click on deploy or you click on set data, you will see a pop-up of MetaMask that asks you to confirm the transaction and you will need to wait a bit before the transaction is mined. But in this case, we are connected to a local development blockchain. So everything is just instant. And the last thing I wanted to show you in this video on Remix is the plugin part. So for the plugins of Remix, you go to this menu and here you will see the active plugin and the inactive one. So there are a lot that are inactive. So let's scroll down and we're going to go over some of them. So Zocrats, this is a framework for zero knowledge proof. Yo, this is a low level language that is related to solidity, but you probably won't have to use it directly. Wallet Connect, this is a plugin to connect to many wallets, but I don't really see the use case with Remix at the moment. Uh, Viper, this is the compiler of Viper. So Viper, this is another programming language for smart contract. Its syntax looks like Python. It doesn't get the vast majority of smart contract are in solidity. Viper didn't get a lot of traction, unfortunately. So then you have some tutorials here from the Yuma protocol. Then you have an integration with Tenderly. That's a tool to inspect transactions on chain. That's very useful when you want to debug a transaction that has failed. Then an integration with a service called Sourceify. I've never used it. Oh yeah, and for each of these plugin, here you see this icon next to them. So you can click on it and it will take you to the documentation. So then we have Solidity unit testing. So I've tried this plugin and that's only for tests that are written in Solidity. But in general, you will find that the most useful tests for smart contract are integration tests that are written in JavaScript and you will do them with Truffle. So I didn't find this plugin very useful. Uh, Solidity static analysis. So that's to do some security analysis of your smart contract. Then Solidity to UML. So UML, that's a kind of diagram that is used to model database. And this can be used to represent smart contract. Then SolHint linter. So this can help you to improve your Solidity code. Then restore backup. 
it's possible to back up your whole file explorer of Remix into your local fast system and then you can restore this with this plugin. And then Remix D is to access your local file from Remix and Chrome. Uh, this is an enterprise blockchain uh, provable. So this is an Oracle service. A few years ago, it was the leader and then we started to talk more about Chainlink. Then Optimism, Compilers Optimism, this is a new L2 scaling solution and they have their own technology for smart contracts, that's why we need a plugin. Then One Click DApp, so this is a service to create a user interface automatically for your smart contract. I'm not sure if this is still maintained. Then an integration with the MythX service. So that's another tool to do security analysis. Then Moonbeam and Lexon, I don't know what it is. Then Learn ETH, so this is a, a tutorial to an Ethereum. Then Hard Hard Provider is to integrate with the Hard Hard Framework. Then Gas Profiler, so this can help you to optimize the gas consumption of your smart contract. Then Flatterner, so this can help you for deployment. Basically, if you have a smart contract that imports some other smart contract, it will copy paste all the code in a single file. Then you have an integration with the verification tool of Etherscan. Then a plugin for EthDoc. So basically with this plugin, you can generate a documentation for your smart contract. And for that, you need to use a notation that is called uh, NAT spec. Um, then you can manage workspace in a Git repository. It's quite advanced. Then some tutorials for DeFi then DeFi Explorer. So this allows you to inspect all the smart contracts of a specific DeFi protocol. And at the moment, unfortunately, they don't have many smart contracts. Uh, then the debuggers. So this can be very useful. Another debugger plugin here. Control Flow Graph. So this can be useful for debugging as well. Celo. Uh, uh, this is another blockchain, I believe, but I haven't used it. And three bucks, this is a project to manage identity on the blockchain. And after we have our two active module. In any case, keep in mind that for a basic usage of Remix, you probably won't need to install any plugin. You can just stick to the default one that I activated. Now you know how to use Remix to code a Solidity smart contract. Great. The next step is to learn Solidity, the programming language of smart contract. Solidity looks easy because its syntax is like JavaScript, but it's tricky because it works very differently from JavaScript. If you want to learn Solidity in detail, you can watch my series on Solidity where I cover every aspect of the language in short videos. I originally made this series for Solidity 0.5, we are now at Solidity 0.8. But since the main feature of the language stay pretty much the same, most of what I teach in this series still applies to 3 t 0.8. I will see you there. Bye.